welcome my dear students in the previous session we have finished okay the problem on this particular one okay where we have finished the, the problem on this particular one okay that is a diaphragm the deflection at any radius for this one okay <music> So the deflection at any radius using this form formula, and uh, we have submitted all the parameters. Uh, you are getting the okay. We have are getting the pressure. Okay, the pressure itself. Uh, you are going to get this one. Okay, P equal to one seventy seven point nine four mega newton per meter square. You are going to get okay. This is the problem we have finished in the previous session. Okay. Now in this session, so we are going for the next concept. So before going for the next concept, uh, this question. Okay. The elastic type of transducer, okay. The element in the Bowden tube pressure gauge is okay. The elastic type of transducer, the element in the Bowden tube consists of a square cross section, elliptical cross section, rectangular cross section, or circular cross section. So answer is a elliptical cross section. This thing I am going to explain in the in this session. Okay. So how the elliptical cross section is there? Okay. Okay. So we are we are going to study about the Bowden tube and all those things in this particular. Session, my dear students. Okay, now, friends. Okay, we are going for this particular next one itself is capsule. Okay, capsule. Capsule means uh, see, I am going to use the two means capsule is made up of the two identical annular corrugated metal diaphragms. Okay, sealed together at its periphery means uh, capsule will be like this, my dear students. Okay, this is uh, the capsule. This is the uh, Means capsule is a. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, two diaphragm. Okay, like that. I'm going to connect. Okay, and I'm going to apply the pressure here, and uh, the displacement is going to be taking place here. Okay, this is a. Uh, okay, here also the sensitivity of the capsule. Okay, is equal to output is what uh, change in the displacement uh, by input is what uh, pressure. Okay, this is. The capsule. Here also, the capsule means two annular. I have corrected the two annular corrugated metal diaphragms. I am going to seal it. Okay, at its very end. Okay, and I told you that uh, capsule is also made up of the same elastic metal alloys that are used in the diaphragms like bronze, phosphor bronze, beryllium copper, and uh, stainless steel because uh, it is made up of the diaphragm elements only. So the same metal alloys we are going to use for the capsule here i want to increase the sensitivity generally the sensitivity of the lip, that is diaphragm is limited to increase the cap, that is the sensitivity okay two or more capsules are connected in series okay i am connecting the capsules okay i am connecting suppose this is one capsule this is another capsule like that i am connecting the capsules in series then what happens the sensitivity increases okay i want to increase the sensitivity my dear students okay like that we are going for the capsule okay next we are going for the capsule is like this concept only next we are going for the very very important there is the, the elastic method and that is called the bellows okay bellows i am going to explain this with respect to diagram okay bellows are the thin walled cylindrical shells uh, with a deep convolution okay let me see this is the bellow element okay see here these are all the bellows element okay these are all the thin walled uh, cylindrical shells these are all the thin walled uh, Cylindrical shells. Okay, here I have explained that that concept only. Okay, thin walled cylindrical. See here, bellows are the thin walled cylindrical shells with a deep convolution. Then the number of folds changes from five to twenty. Okay, sensitivity increases as the number of folds increases. Okay, see here. If I am going for the here, these are the deep convolutions. These are the see that is the cylindrical walls. These are all water. These are all the cylindrical here here. See here, these are all the thin, thin walled cylindrical shells, and these are all the, the deep convolutions. These are all the deep convolutions. Okay. Generally, number of folds here I have shown only the folds is the minimum should be three here, but the folds we can you can increase the folds up to twenty also. Okay. So here, what I am going to apply when I am applying the pressure over here, when I am applying the pressure over here, then what happens? Sir? The pointer is deflecting on this scale. The pointer is deflecting on the scale, and uh, this is here. That is called the change in the displacement is going to be taking place here. 
the sensitivity of the bellow element okay if i am going to tell you it is the sensitivity of the bellow element is as usual the change in displacement by the applied pressure okay generally how the when the sensitivity increases uh, the sensitivity increases that is number of uh, as a uh, means the sensitivity is increasing uh, how means uh, as the number of holes are increasing okay see here the sensitivity increases okay the sensitivity increases uh, as the number of okay holes increases means if i am increasing these holes uh, then what happens the sensitivity is going to be increasing by dear students okay now here the thickness I am going to depict the formula over here. The thickness of the wall, okay, is C. This is C is the thickness, and here the D is the mean diameter, and this is the B is the radius of each corrugation. These holes are also called a corrugation, okay. Now and P is the pressure that I am going to apply over here. Then what is the the that is the, the pillow means? What is this formula for the displacement of the pillow? That is the, going to give here. I am going to get the the displacement, okay. Where I am going to get the Displacement here. Okay, this is the displacement here. I am going to get here. Okay, so what is the formula to calculate the the displacement? Okay, the displacement of the bellow element. Okay, is given by the D equal to zero point four five three P into that is P is the pressure and P is the radius of each corrugation. Okay, N is the number of holes. D is the mean diameter and B is the Poisson's ratio. E is the modulus of velocity and T is the thickness. Yeah, P is the pressure in newton per meter square. B is the radius of each corrugation in meters. N is the number of semicircular corrugations, and T is the thickness of the wall. And D is the mean diameter. E is the modulus of velocity. And uh, here I told you that uh, Poisson's ratio I am representing not with respect to this, but with respect to the here V. Okay, okay, this is the V. So that is the formula for the displacement of the bellow element, my dear students. Okay. With that, we are finished about the concept of the bellows. So finally, to increase the okay sensitivity of the bellows, I am going to increase what I am going to increase the number of holes that is changing from five to twenty. Okay, so to increase the sensitivity, always in the bellows we are going to use the that particular term. Okay, now we are going for the bound end tube, last one. Okay, bound end tube. Okay, as I told you that the bound bound end tube are available in different shapes, T type, helical type, spiral type, but uh, At part of your syllabus, you are going to see only the C type. Okay, used for the generally local indication and the best instrument for the pressure transmission and control application. Okay, this is used for the pressure transmission and control application and the displacement of the tip. Okay, what are the displacement of the tip? That is called delta Y. Formula is zero point zero five into Y into P by T. T is the pressure and E is the modulus of velocity. R by T into zero point two, X by Y into zero point three three, X by T power. This is all these are power. Okay, R by T power, X by Y power, and X by T power. Okay, as I told you, this is a formula you have to remember. Okay, no need of going for in-depth any problems on this one. Just you have to remember that the formula for the displacement of the tip. And different different types of that is a C type, spiral type, twisted type. Helical type, various types of okay, the the things are available over here. The types of bounded tubes are available. Okay, now here, how the bounded tube is there? Very very important, my dear friends. Uh, please and here, this bounded tube, I am applying the pressure over here. Okay, I am applying the pressure. Okay, I am applying the pressure over here. In this particular, this is the bounded tube. I am applying the pressure over here, and this one is the stand that is socket that is connected. The bounded tube, and this is the bounded tube, my dear students. And what type of arrangement is there? This arrangement is called rack and pinion arrangement. Or it is also called gear, geared sector and pinion. Rack and pinion arrangement, or geared sector and pinion arrangement is there. Okay, when I am applying the pressure over here, then automatically the displacement of this one, okay, the displacement of the tip one, okay, changes in the pointer is going to be taking place. This is the change, okay. And this is the pointer which uh, this is the section I told you. Okay, for this section it is this this I uh, uh, this is the bit uh, which I have mentioned in the problem. Okay, the bounded tube consists of uh, what type of cross section? Okay, the cross section itself I told you that uh, it is what type of cross section, my dear students? So it is the uh, this cross section. Okay, this is the cross section. This cross section is called a uh, elliptical cross section. Okay. This one is called elliptical cross section. Okay, 
and generally we are going to use this one over here okay and here i am going to demand here what happening means here when i am applying the pressure over here this one is going to be changing means this this this, this position of this pressure what is going to be changing okay it is changing from here to here okay that is called the displacement the change in the displacement of the tip okay the change in the displacement of the tip which i am going to show you in the next slide my dear students okay this is about the change this is the original position then when i am applying the pressure the change in the displacement of the tip okay the change in from here to here okay and that is delta a and this formula i already told you in the big that is the slide in the first slide of the board in shoot okay which is called the movement of the tip okay and this is the cross section okay the cross section delta that is the x and y elliptical cross section which i have shown okay over for this one that is for the the point okay which i am going to show you over here okay this is the general geometric figure that is the, of the both and tube which i have depicted over here in a detail manner okay with that uh, we had completed about uh, the general concepts okay of the both and tube and all these elastic elements okay as far as the concrete examinations uh, the very important thing is the diaphragm the problems on the diaphragm and uh, very very important thing is bellow okay it is very very important my dear students okay means uh, every elastic method is uh, internal internally or that is depending on the other methods and final conclusion itself is my dear students uh, see diaphragm okay diaphragm itself is made up of the metallic elastic uh, alloys and uh, diaphragms are two types ela that is flat and uh, corrugated diaphragm okay so so a, a capsule is made up of the corrugated diaphragm and same metallic alloys we are going to use okay so to increase the sensitivity in a capsule we need to connect the capsules in series okay now if you are going for the bellow element also here i want to increase the sensitivity in the bellows i want to increase the bolts in the bellows okay and the bolted tube is the best instrument that is used for the measurement of the pressure and for the transmission lines okay with that we have completed about the measurement of pressure and we have finished okay the sessions of the gravitational methods and the elastic methods and finally okay we are going for the next topic in the next session okay and in the next topic in the next session we are going for the in detail manner my dear students okay we have finished about the chapter 4 okay thank you very much.